So today I want to talk to you about the difference between introverts on a date versus an extrovert on a date. Um, just to give us some guidelines for what I think a date is, because we may not actually be on the same page. I think a date is two people spending quality time with each other and it's just focused on them. You can be around people, you cannot be around people, but it is about you two spending time together. It's not just time, it is focused intentional time so you're not busy on your phones ignoring each other that's not a date <laughs> that is doing separate parallel activities in the same room so a date you are actually trying to interact with each other in some kind of way um and there is some level of privacy between the two of you so like even in a restaurant for example there can be some level of privacy if you have your own booth <laughs> like you're there are people around, but it is about you two spending quality time with each other. You can be at a party, but there are moments in this date where you guys are just to eat yourselves. By, that's when it's a date versus we're just at a party and doing our own thing. So now how does this uh, intertwine with introverts versus extroverts? I have found that my introverts in this world seem to not always want to go out <laughs> for a date. Like sometimes their ideal date could be eating popcorn and watching a movie at home together. But they actually see that as like, this is a date. Because if you consider my, you know, one of my, my guidelines for a good date, that is a date. You are spending quality time with each other. It's a little bit private. It's about the two of you, right? So being at home watching a movie could be an introverted date. Or playing a game. Playing a game with each other could be an introverted date. Or being on your porch, just moving from like a, moving the environment could be a form of an introverted date. Like we're going to go have some drinks on our porch, whatever your sippy sippies are, tea or wine. Um, so with that being said, like sometimes um, there might be a situation. So extroverts tend to be a little more open to like the out date, like going out. We want to go on a date. We want to go to dinner. We want to go to the movies, maybe go to the movies. And of course, introverts can do any of them as well. But it, for an introvert to do one of these dates, it gives them some emotional, they have to expel some emotional energy to go on that date. So it doesn't mean they won't do it, but it means it takes some energy. It takes a toll on them. Whereas an extrovert being around people gets energy from that experience. So you can do any of the dates, but what I found is the challenge is that sometimes an introvert is, is suggesting a date by saying, let's watch a movie. And an extrovert isn't reading it that way. They're seeing it as just downtime. No, oh, I thought we were just watching a movie. So they might get on their phone and like kind of ignore the situation when their partner is actually trying to connect with them and feel close. So one thing that's really important if you do have an introverted partner or an extroverted partner is define what you guys see as dates and when you're inviting each other to connect and have a date. Because if a date is looking very different between the two of you, you could be having fights simply because you're defining the situation completely different. So if you would like to work with me, please submit a contact form at my website, therapistinstlouis.com. And also please like and subscribe if you want more videos. Thank you.